model kit review is of the uh, Porsche 911 Carrera, uh, 1973 version, and it is a 124 scale model by Testers. And as uh, the uh, dimensions, here's a photograph of the finished model. It's a very nice looking model. And some details about the uh, Porsche. And uh, here we have another picture of the finished model. This is one of those classic Porsches. And here we have on the back, this is one thing I like about the Porsche, sorry, about the testers um, boxes is on the back. They have these uh, pictures of the finished model. And it's a tremendously detailed model of that boxer engine in the back. Let's have a look at the kit here. Big bag of parts here. Let's start off with the uh, body. Classic Porsche look. Very nicely molded. No flashing or mold lines. The vent is open. Here we have our wheels. That chrome is actually fairly nicely painted on. Uh, but unfortunately, it's going to have to be uh, the black it needs to be painted on the inside. And the uh, tires are actually nicely molded too. Here are the other chrome parts. You know, windshield wipers, door handles. Unfortunately, they mold them in the wrong place. So if you look at this here, when you cut that off, you're going to have a white spot where the uh, plastic shows through, they should have molded it to the inside that's going to get glued. Here's our uh, glass, and there's the uh, rear window. As you can see, it's got the uh, defroster. And our rear lights, uh, headlights. Here are our uh, front and rear bumpers. And there's the uh, tail, little spoiler. Here's our chassis. It's got our wheel wells molded in. Reasonably well molded. With some good details. We do have some little mold lines on the edges here. Those are easily sanded out. This is an older model kit and they're still in the days when they use different plastics so if you wanted to build it without painting it you could and still have some variation on color. Well, I don't do that anymore, that's a waste of time. Here's our um, boxer engine, the classic six cylinder. Here's our transaxle, some other engine parts and uh, valve covers. Here's our steering rack and drive shafts. And here are disc brakes, sway bar, some extra engine pieces here. And looks like our air intake and all the extra engine parts here. Here are the uh, looks like the uh, inside of the doors. We have our stick shift, steering column, our handbrake, the grills, uh, 
and uh, central console. I do like it when they mold these uh, windshield wipers separately. Here we have, uh, these are bucket seats if you wanted to use those. Here we have the regular seats. And our rear seats. Here we have the uh, dashboard, dash cover, spare wheel. Looks like different uh, stick shifts if you wanted those. So. Somewhere over here we have our decals and instructions. Here are the uh, decals. We have different color Carrera stickers for the, or decals for the side. These are all very well printed. And uh, you know, I guess depending on which color you want to paint it, you've got some other options. It's very nice to have. And looking at our instructions here, some details about the car. Inside, so we start off with the uh, engine and transmission, and then uh, exhausts and uh, air intake goes on. Then you build the front suspension, rear suspension goes on with the uh, uh, rear wheel hubs. We build the cockpits. Uh, we have a parts listing here in the middle. So we put the uh, dashboard and the uh, cockpit together. Next we put the trunk on. We have to mount the engine or you can show it separately if you wanted to uh, have it separate. And then we put the uh, body parts on. Bumpers go on, headlights, tires, wheels, and uh, the uh, hood. And then uh, the painting and decal guide. All of them were painted white. So, uh, that's a really nicely detailed kit. Some good options, uh, good decals, and uh, that'll be a great build.